What's up everyone, Super Auto Gaming here, and today I buy every owl. And we're gonna go straight into the rules. The rules are is every owl that I see I must buy, every owl that I buy I must keep, and I must get at least one level three owl. So you thought we were done with this. No, I actually still had another one, which was owl, and I felt that one was still hard enough to be able to showcase. So we're going to speed through these first couple of rounds and it's going to be a good old back to game because we get extremely lucky with the amount of beetles and dromedaries that we find. Also, it's very nice um, to get a few more back to games in before they ultimately destroy this type of playstyle. So that's nice as well. Um, this game was a little bit older though. I had it hidden in the deep recesses of my computer and I decided that it definitely needed to be shown because I did it and it was actually a little difficult. You don't just get a level three owl uh, willy nilly right off the bat. Most people never keep owl in the first place because it's a buy sell unit. When you sell it, it gives a random unit plus two plus two, which is very, very good. Uh, however, you never really keep it to get level three. I don't even know what the level three ability does, I think. I think when you sell it, it should give plus six plus six. That would make the most sense. But I've never, um, I've never gotten a level three owl just to eventually sell it. So, um, and we get a very good uh, back to start here, though. A along with getting really lucky finding them all, we still have a uh, seven lives on turn five, which means we can go another, I think, two rounds with losing and still being able to um, get more stats on our units. So you can see that we've got a bat, hatching chick, and bison frozen. And I do bison quite a bit. Honestly, I think it's just because I get it so much when I triple. Um, especially when the back to games happen. If you've noticed in most of my back to games, like... Um, I say back to, I say back to so much. In most of my drawn beetle games, I just happen to get bison a lot. And since I normally have a level three beetle, it just always works out. And um, unfortunately, I did not get to buff the owl at all because I had enough gold to buy it. So had to get it in there. But our team is insanely strong for turn seven. I don't think there's literally there's literally nothing in the game that could beat this turn seven. I mean, look, look at these stats. I always love getting a big hatching chick, too. Uh, you never expect the big hatching chick. Whenever you see it, it's always like a 1-1 one, one or really small. But no, here we have a 930 hatching chick. Absolutely absurd. And now all we really need to do is get to turn 9, find as many chocolates and owls as we can, and we're good to go. Because our team realistically doesn't need like anything else. We might eventually replace Beetle, because uh, our bison could get big enough. But like other than that, like we don't we don't really need to do a whole lot. Getting a level two hatching chick would be really nice, though. And of course, getting a level two bat. Uh, so as long as we can get those, I mean, we'll be solid. Of course, a couple of melons will do, do us great. But I mean, look at these teams. There, <laughs> there's nothing that they can do. Absolutely nothing. Don't even get through the bison. I got four units left, man. Straight up find our first out or our second owl to, to get in there, which is really nice. Yeah, and we definitely want the level 2 hatching chick first. It will do us much better than the level 2 owl. We have plenty of turns to go um, before we find anything. Uh, or, I mean, before we find any more owls. Like, we, we got a lot of time. So, I think eventually we could sell... Or not eventually, it'll probably be within the next couple turns. We could sell uh, Beetle for T-Rex. Or... Perhaps we get a, a couple more buffs on the bison first before we sell the beetle. Uh, I actually didn't watch the game beforehand. I'm just looking at it blind. So don't crucify me if I don't know everything that happens in the video. Please, Jesus. Um, but I, I skimmed through it and I was like, holy shit, my team was really strong. We could even actually go for a level three bison. I think that that's probably the move. We're getting we're seeing a lot of bison here. Um, so we could hit hit the level three and then when we get the level three bison sell the beetle or we could just sell it now because I'm a mad lad Why <laughs> wait a second? Why would I get the level two? 
bison and then immediately sell the beetle. I guess it doesn't really matter a whole lot because what's better, getting plus four, plus four on one unit or getting plus two, plus one on four units? It sounds like it would be getting plus two, plus one on four units would be better. And eventually when I do get uh, another level three, which will most likely be bison, it's already very close, then it'll start buffing itself up again anyways. Or, you know, since I am getting the level 3 Owl, then the, the Owl will be level 3 as well. But Bison is already much, much closer. Um, probably going to hit the Bison with this chocolate. It's almost there. Might as well. Yeah. The And, and of course, running T-Rex is also very risky. I do it quite a bit, but it is very risky. Because if I have 3 gold and I see the Owl, then I still have to buy it. So... It could fuck me over in the end. However, our team is just massive. Like, nothing ever even reaches the hatching chick at this point. But yeah, we, we basically only need to find uh, chocolates and owls. But yeah, we finally get the level 3 bison here. Oh, and he, here I freeze it and I'm like, oh wait, no, I got the 3 gold. If if I would have had 2, it would have been, been okay. But at 2, it wouldn't have mattered because then I couldn't get the T-Rex buff anyways. So yeah, the T-Rex is a bit risky, but I felt that our team was just strong enough to, to be able to do it. And this was a really, really close match. Thankfully, our hatching chick is fucking massive, dude. You love to have the massive hatching chick. And we even get a level 2 bat here. So that's really nice. I'll roll one more time and risk it for the biscuit. Yeah, I really need some more T-Rex buffs. Um, I guess Poodle would have been better to have here, because at least uh, I could have buffed everything except probably Hatching Chick. It was big enough. So I could have buffed everything except Hatching Chick, and then Hatching Chick would have just given its plus two, plus two to someone else. But yeah, always big enough to be in the back there. Um, we're So we're cutting it a little close here now, so I definitely have to chocolate uh, my Owl. And we just need to find one more next turn. And I would roll down the, the last three and probably sell T-Rex to look for it. So buffing T-Rex there at the end probably isn't the best play for my hatching chick. However, um, if it doesn't come to that, then, it, then it's the perfect play, okay? But anyways, I don't know how many more of these that I'm going to do. I just happen to have this one in there. I do have a penguin one set up with a lot of penguins, so I could do that one still, but let me know what you think. But anyways, thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and you know what? Have a wonderful day. You didn't think I was going to say anything there, did you? Well, I did.